Ho ho, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our MTG uh, Cycles review and we're looking at Confluence Variants now. These variants aren't really a cycle. I'm just um, including these because most of the Confluences are in cycles, so yeah. These are like kind of off-cycle variants. They're not, I know they're not making a cycle because there are two green ones out of three, basically. Just hit like and subscribe, it helps a lot. It really does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I was hit like so I don't watch the same video twice, but I should probably stop saying that because people will watch my videos more than once. So what are we talking about? So these cards are more, uh, sorry, these are three more cards that aren't exactly confluences, but work essentially the same way. So these aren't technically confluences, but they're like the same idea, yeah. With these, the number of options available and the number of selection made can vary greatly. So there's a lot of dip that leads to a pretty crazy number of like different combinations of options. Essentially, every spell ends up being like, well, modal spells, you might have three different options. You can choose one, so it's kind of like three spells. With the confluences, you've got four choices of four different options, making, I think, what is that? Is that 16? Or is that 20? Because you can do the same one multiple times. Anyway, yeah. It makes a whole bunch more, basically. And these get out of hand, really. So these, this can create a broad array, array of different combinations of effects. Flexibility-wise, you cannot beat some of these. Bloomberg. Right, Rook Cast Apprenticeship. Ah, up to $4 already. Ay, ay, ay. In a way, three in a green. A sorcery. Choose three. Put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. Create a token that's a, a, a copy of target uh, token you control. Again, it has to be another token. Target player creates a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token. Target opponent sacrifices a non-token artifact. Whoa. Especially, you could force someone to sacrifice four non-token artifacts. That's, uh, or four different players. If there's five players in your game, but anyway. Oh boy. So anyway, that is four dollars now. This went up fast. I actually got this when it was still under a dollar, and I wish I picked up a few of them, and I did not. It's uh, it's in my um, Chatterfang deck already, so it, it's in the right place. But Bloomberg, good old Bloomberg. Like I said, the art and the mechanics, they really just knocked it out of the park. <clears throat> Um, so there are 20 different combinations you can make with that. So that's 20 combinations, right? So the regular confluences I think are 16, but anyway. War of the Spark. In wide celebration, 5 green green for this sorcery. 7 CMC is really high even for a modal spell. But we've got choose 4, you may choose the same mode more than once. So four for seven is not bad. Create a two-two citizen creature that's all colors. All colors. So if you have a bunch of anthem effects that like plus one plus one to white, plus one plus one to green, plus one plus one to whatever, they get all of them. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. So you could recur up to four things back to your hand. Permanence to your hand. Um, for seven, that's actually pretty good. Proliferate. You can proliferate up to four times if you want. Or gain four life. You know what? Life gain, if you're looking for that trigger, then that's awesome. Um, but a really solid uh, card. This altogether makes 35 different combinations. So yeah. Very flexible. Anyway, uh, 82 cents. I'm an area. Okay, Unite the Coalition. So this is the Wooberg option here. So we've got two white, blue, black, red, green. Wooberg, right? Okay. Choose five. Five. So this spell is going to have five effects. Oh my gosh. For seven, even though it has Wooberg in the cost, it's almost, it'd be hard to say it's not worth it. But anyway, let's look at what the options are. Target permanent phases out. 
Again, you can use this offensively or defensively. Target player draws a card. Card draws the great. Exile target player's graveyard. Graveyard hate. A, a, something decks don't have enough of, and it's a great thing to have as a modal. Because you never know when you're going to need it. And it does 2 damage to any target. So you could do up to 10 damage. And this is also red. So if you got those damage enhancers, that'll count. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. So just like a pile of removal. You can remove 4 artifacts or enchantments for 7 mana. That's a good deal right there. That's 1.6 per removal. Yep. Anyway, 27 cents. This has a crazy... This is uh, 126 combinations of effects. 126. Even for the casting costs, that is like... This could do whatever you want, you know? 7 is high. For what you're getting, it's a, still a deal. The list. Okay. Luke Cast Apprenticeship is four dollars. In wide celebration is only eighteen cents. Unite the Col Coalition is twenty-seven cents. I actually need to order another one of those. Anyway, take it easy.